Let's start. The project name is Room. Let's see the project structure. In the build.gradle file, we have integrated the Room library. Here we have the main activity, a model class, and a database manager class, a DAO class. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main.xml file, which is the layout of the main activity. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have some edit texts to insert, update, and delete some data in the database. Few buttons like the insert data button, retrieve button, update button, delete button. Let's see the code. The scroll view is the root layout. This is the constraint layout. This is an edit text to insert data. This is the insert data button. This is the retrieve data button. This is an edit text to update data which is the old data. This is an edit text to update data which is the new data. This is the update data button. This is an edit text to delete data. This is the delete data button. Let's see the Java code now. This is the model class. This is the table name. This is the primary key. The auto generate attribute is set to true so that the primary key, which is the ID, would be auto increment. This is the data to be inserted, retrieved, updated, deleted from the database. This is the data access object DAO interface. This class has various functions to insert, retrieve, update, delete data, where we have written SQL queries. The onConflict strategy.replace attribute means, if a data to be inserted already exists in the database, then this attribute replaces the original data. These are the imports. This is the database manager class. These are the tables to be inserted into the given database. And the database version number is initially set to 1. This is how we set up the database, by giving the database some name. This is how we can populate the database initially, but we haven't inserted any data yet, so we have returned null here. These are the imports. This is the main activity that implements the onClick listener interface that handles the onClick events of the buttons. These are the data members. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of the buttons. Then we get the database instance, an executor service, and a handler instance to perform the database tasks in the background thread. When the insert data button is clicked, we call the insert function. When the retrieve data button is clicked, we call the retrieve function. When the update data button is clicked, we call the update function. When the delete data button is clicked, we call the delete function. This is the insert function. Here first we create a background thread using the executor service, perform the data insertion task in this background thread. And then post the confirming toast in the main thread using the handler. This is the retrieve function. Here first we create a background thread using the executor service, perform the data retrieve task in this background thread. And then post the confirming toast in the main thread using the handler. This is the update function. Here first we create a background thread using the executor service, perform the data update task in this background thread. And then post the confirming toast in the main thread using the handler. This is the delete function. Here first we create a background thread using the executor service, perform the data delete task in this background thread. And then post the confirming toast in the main thread using the handler. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can use the Room library for SQLite in Java Android.
Thanks for watching.